The UN Secretary General on Tuesday called for an end to the fighting in Sudan. So far, a series of short ceasefires the past week have either failed outright or brought only intermittent laws in the fighting. It is incumbent on Sudanese leaders to put the interests of their people front and center. This conflict will not and must not be resolved on the battlefield with the bodies of Sudan's people. The Sudanese people have made their wishes very clear. They want peace and the restoration of civilian rule through the transition to democracy. The parties to the conflict must respect the 72-hour ceasefire brokered by the United States and come together to establish a permanent cessation of hostilities. On Tuesday, fresh fighting in Khartoum and Darfur in Sudan's west jolted a new ceasefire brokered by Riyadh and Washington. Millions of people trapped in their homes since violence began on April 15th between forces loyal to the country's top two generals. There are no services. The truce is for providing people with services and for them to go out and buy their needs and then head back home. But there is no one outside because people are not assured. This is the third truce, but people are not assured. Last night, until this morning, there was nothing. But now you can hear the gunfire and the sound of other weapons. So no one is benefiting from the truce. Streets in the capital Khartoum remain mostly deserted Tuesday. Those trapped by fighting say conditions are deteriorating fast. We are fed up. We cannot leave our homes, even if they told us to. We're going to die in our homes. Our children go out in the morning to bring us water, and they come at night. We can't even get water to drink. Till when, Burhan? Till when, Hemeti? Please, fear God in the way you treat us. Power is only in the hands of God. The world nation is praying against you. Hundreds continue to flee the capital using buses and private means. The UN Refugee Agency said it was gearing up for potentially tens of thousands of people fleeing into neighboring countries.